brothers and sisters in the risen Lord. Tuesday at uh, Epiphany of the Lord, the multiplication of the loaves is a symbol of the other multiplication of bread in the Eucharist stated by St. Augustine. St. Ignatius saw at York was an illustrious saint of the earlier church. He said to have been the disciple of St. John the Evangelist. He was a deeply spiritual and learned bishop who had a great desire even to die for Christ. He was a great believer in the Holy Eucharist. He pointed out the Eucharist as the medicine of immortality. He pointed out the Eucharist as the medicine of immortality, the attitude against death which gives eternal life in Jesus Christ. St. Ignatius was thrown to the wild beast for being a Christian by the Roman Emperor Trajan in the year 107 AD. Before being devoured by the lions, he thus addressed the emperor, the senate and the people who came to witness his compact with the lions. Men of Rome, know that my labors will not go unrewarded. Men of Rome, know that my labors will not go unrewarded and that it is not for loose morals that I suffer these pains but for loyalty to my duty or responsibility. I am the wit of Christ. May I be ground the fire by the tea of the beans that I may be made a clean bread. Thus he began to provoke the lions, egging them on to attach him and eat him. Two savage lions thereupon leapt upon him, but they only smothered him, not breaking his flesh in any way. Later, Christian came and took the saint's body and gave it an honorable burial. In today's gospel, we heard about the multiplication of loaves and fish. The multiplication of the loaves and fish is a symbol of the Eucharist. Jesus came into the world so that we may have life and have it abundantly. John chapter 10 verse 10. And he grant the life, that life through the Eucharist. The Eucharist is the source of that eternal life. Jesus took the form to die upon the cross and thus impart as the life of God. This life which Jesus offers is present in the Eucharist. And all who partake the Eucharist receive the life offered by Jesus. The other sacraments also offer us life, but they are a preparation for the Eucharist and are gathered around it. The Eucharist is the supreme sacrament. Let us note the Eucharist sustains spiritual life and grants eternal life. As bread sustains physical life, so does the Eucharist sustain spiritual life. We are pilgrims upon this earth. 
and our destiny is heaven during our journey towards our heavenly home there are many forces inimical to us we need to fight against such forces and keep pursuing towards heaven the eucharist is the food for our journey without this food it is impossible to have spiritual as well as eternal life jesus said very truly i tell you unless you eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood you have not life in you those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life and i will raise them up on the lord day for my flesh is true food and my flesh blood is true drink john chapter 6 verse 53 to 55 the eucharist restores spiritual life in our struggle towards heaven our venial sin act irritates hampering and impeding our journey this sins damage and weaken our union with the christ the eucharist increases our love both for god and our neighbors thus increases the actual graces which repair these damages through the eucharist we are transformed into christ the more frequently we receive the eucharist the more closely or we transform into christ in order to transform ourselves into the eucharist let us pray for the graces in this eucharist may god bless you all amen